Hello everyone, welcome once again. This is Janice May and uh, I am doing another tutorial. As promised, I'd be doing more tutorials um, in light of the FedEx Small Business Grant Contest. I am asking for your votes and the description, I mean, the link is in the description down below. Um, today we are going to learn how to make what I call ribbon beads because they look like ribbons. You see, um, these are very easy to make and how I thought of doing this is when, you know how when you're lining up your paper with with pen, when you roll your beads, if you're using a white printer paper instead of a magazine, the pen, whatever color, like the black pen, comes out when you roll the paper. And I don't like that, so I thought, what can I do to take advantage of that fact that it shows when you roll the bead? So I thought of painting, instead of using paper, I'm using brush and paint to line my paper. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, let's go over the materials. Um, you need pots of paint. So I prefer you use the frosted one or the glittered paint. So these ones, I've had that, and there's some Martha Stewart ones that are pearlized, is what you call it. And you need ruler, you need pencil, you need brushes, this kind, and you need glue stick when we roll the paper, the bamboo roller, of course, and the vibrance to glaze your paper. I'm sorry, your paper beads. So um, let's go ahead and let me show you. And you need the paper also. This is just ordinary printing paper, but choose one that's not really flimsy. Choose a good kind of printing paper, okay? So the first thing you need to do so I make sure I have that is we're making one inch bead so you need to line your paper one inch apart okay I'm just using a pencil so one inch apart. Of course you can do whatever size you like but I like the look of you can see the design more when it's one inch bead. So just put a line like that and turn it around do the same thing on the other side one inch apart <clears throat> and your <clears throat> last uh, your the last mark you're going to make will be half an inch because the paper is eight and a half inch wide right so there is a half an inch that's left you have one on this side and one on this side. Now, what you need to do next is take your paint. So, let's say pink. Okay. And just squeeze it on here somewhere. Oops. I did too much. But anyway. And ruler 
so you need to have like an old ruler because you will be painting it and I scribbled some paint on there by accident so very easy instead of using like I said pen or pencil I use my brush to line it okay so dip your brush into the paint and just go ahead and line your paper okay don't be worried if it's like you get you got some paint here or there because that will just add to the design okay so just continue doing that and so very very easy using your brush as your marking tool okay I'm gonna go ahead and continue lining this and I will come back so this is the finished page that I lined using the paint so it looks like that and now we have to cut it. You can cut it using scissors or a cutter. So I prefer using this, the guillotine cutter. So I'm going to start and cut a few strips just to show you. Now you will not be seeing it, it's not visible to you, but I can see my little, uh, my little pencil mark on there. Okay, so you will be seeing it when you're doing it. See how easy it is with a cutter. And then I'm just gonna go like that. And it cuts. And so on and so forth. Now I have cut a few pieces. I'm gonna show you. Let me just. Uh, Put this aside, bring this stuff back so we can roll our paper. So I have cut a few strips, okay? So basically it will look like that. They're, they're not the same. Some has more on the side, some doesn't have any on the side. But that's the beauty of it, the randomness. So I roll the big ones, see, the big fat ones, two strips stacked together. And the skinny ones is just one strip of paper. So let me show you, uh, I do two strips so for example the green like this and let me just grab my scissors I would like to round the corners okay when rolling my paper. Oops. And then take your bamboo roller. If you don't have the bamboo roller, well, whatever you have. Uh, but I find it easier to roll two strips using the bamboo roller. and just roll it okay so as you can see the colors except my hands ooh I don't want it getting into the 
bead but some of it will probably transfer but you get the idea so it has like that ribbon effect or you know the striped effect which I love and I couldn't wait to glaze them and make them into a necklace or something so you see how this bead has more green on the top side very nice so you take your glue stick glue that back part the front the back and you are ready to end it it looks like candy actually you see how pretty it is except it's getting some of the pink from my hand so that's uh, how I made this so you can make your own different colors it will look nice in gold silver black and white if you have any questions please um, join us on Facebook and you can message me on Facebook and I will answer any questions you have pertaining to how uh, to make paper beads so till next time I hope you learned something new today thanks for watching